September 16th, 1993. A documentary captured her life 10 years ago. A 13-year-old child. A prostitute. A drug addict. We follow her life now. What I want, a total better life than this, and I don't think that's ever going to happen, actually. It, it can happen if you... And they ain't never going to take my scars away. Your scars will go away. They're going through with everybody. Your scars will go away. Tonight, a look at Tiny's life, streetwise in Seattle. <laughs> This is ABC News Nightline. Reporting from Washington, Ted Koppel. Surely no one is surprised anymore at the news that children are out there on the streets of our cities, doing drugs, hustling, selling themselves for money. It should not surprise anyone because the number of these children who run away from abusive and dysfunctional homes is now estimated to be in the millions. Every once in a while, you catch a glimpse of one of these kids on the street, in a newspaper story, on television, in a photograph. But rarely has anyone been able or had the tenacity to track one of these children into adulthood. Reporters lose interest, kids move around, or die. But 10 years ago, photographer Mary Ellen Mark took an assignment for Life magazine chronicling the street kids of Seattle. Her husband, Martin Bell, who was a filmmaker, followed up with the documentary Streetwise. They befriended one street child in particular. Her real name is Erin Blackwell, but everyone calls her Tiny. She left home at 13, had two arrests for prostitution by the time she was 14. We caught up with Tiny, who is now 24, in Seattle, and then we brought her here to Washington for an interview. This is not someone you're going to forget. Ten years ago, I got a call from Life magazine, and they wanted me to do a story in in Seattle on street kids. Sir, you can be able to spare a little bit of change. They picked Seattle because it was America's most livable city. They didn't want to do a story on street kids in, in New York or Chicago or Los Angeles because they felt that people would think, well, this happens because it's a big, tough city. But in Seattle, it would be a surprise. <laughs> We had heard that on Pike Street, there were many, many kids that would hang out. You go down to the watch today. They all had street names. Uh, there was uh, Patty and Munchkin and Lulu and Rath and, and Tommy. I mean, I used to trim dates on lots and lots of times, you know, just about every day. I'd be pulling dates day and night, day and night. And it's just like I get bashed five times. So I don't pull dates that I don't know. I met her when she was 14, and that's when we first started making the film Streetwise. She's tough. And she, can, and she fights. <laughs> and uh, she can be extremely vulnerable, too. I want to be really rich and live on a farm with a bunch of horses, which is my main best animal, and have three yachts or more, and diamonds and jewels and all that stuff. I was with her on her 14th birthday, and I took her to an amusement park, and I bought her a, a stuffed animal. I mean, she was still such a baby. All she wanted was a stuffed horse, which she called Horsey. And I photographed her clutching the horse. I think the best photographs I really took of her were when Martin was making Streetwise, because I knew her even better. And that's when I photographed her with a veil. It was Halloween. That was her, her costume. She wanted to dress up like a Parisian horse, she told me, like a Parisian prostitute. When you're making a documentary, what you're looking for are people who, in some way, are like stars, like movie stars. And Tiny was exactly that. She was a movie star. My real dad, I've never known. He could be the guy that's really rich, driving a Mercedes, you know? 
or he could be one of these bums on the streets. I don't know. I, would, I really want to meet him. For all I knew, you know, he could be one of these dates rolling around. I could have dated him for all I know. I think it is very strange that older men like little girls because they're perverts is what they is. I mean, I like the money, but I don't like them. You do have some concern that you might have a sexually transmitted disease? Mm. Nothing serious, but just might be taking bonus again. I don't know. Uh-huh. You ever had one before? Mm-hmm. When did you have? I had chlamydia, trichomonas, and gonorrhea. It's quite a bit. Have you had sex with anyone since you were treated in Portland? No, just dates. And the first date I turned was just that two Thursdays ago, and then I turned another one on a Friday. Isn't it after every two weeks you can get pregnant? After your period, every two weeks? You can get pregnant any time mm. during your cycle. A person can even get pregnant when she's having her period. It's not as likely. Okay, because I pulled a date and didn't use a rubber. Because mm -hmm. he said he didn't use them, so. Six years after we made Streetwise, we returned to Seattle in 1990 and found Tiny, who was now 20 years old, and her mother as disconnected from each other as ever. Oh, I see. Here's my baby. Oops. One lip. It's okay, little one. Yeah. And when I don't hear from you for a long time, I worry about you. Have you ever thought it's due to your drinking? Why well, don't call? Come no. around. No. I can't stand alcohol. I don't know. I could just stand drugs. Mom, I'm through with drugs. We're talking about you. No, we're talking about you. We're talking about you. Oh, you always have to have your way. Let's go to the park, Mom. Yeah, did you ever take me? No. Yeah. Hardly ever, Mother. I'm taking you up to Hicks Lake. Hardly ever did anything with me. Huh. Why don't you believe that? Because maybe you're out and about doing your own thing. Mom, it is not. It's because you of your alcohol. I'm way out too far for you to come over I would come ways. over and see you if you quit you drinking. You don't like coming over because of that dog. Oh, shit. Mom, you asked me the reason that was the truth. No, there was other reasons there and why see, you did that. Oh, shit. I'm, I'm not working with you. If you're going to just... No, because you can't face reality. That's the Well, problem. neither can you, damn it. Oh, yes, I can. Bullshit. Oh, yes, I can. Why don't you just go home? I'm going. Yeah. You made me like this. Oh, baloney. You made yourself this way. Maybe I'd have a real mother. She'd yeah, believe maybe what if she I had does some kind and quit fucking drinking. I didn't hit the street. Bitch. When you see yourself with your mother like that, does it scare you that the two of you seem a lot alike? No, it just bothers me, though. Why? I mean, because I think we should be able to have more of an understanding and more connection with each other, communication. We've got a very bad lack of communication with each other. I mean, do you agree when I say that the two of you are a lot alike? Do you see that? Yeah. What do, you, what do you see? Tell me. Me, um, drinking, being an alcoholic. Um, she's never done drugs, so I'm a step ahead of her on that one. You grew up awful fast, didn't you? Yeah, I really never had a childhood. What happened? Mm, dysfunctional family. My mother. What she, about your dad? I don't know him. And she... That's another thing. She would never tell me really anything about him. And I've always wanted to know. And I still, she still won't tell me. Because I want to know who he is. This is ABC News Nightline. Brought to you by the GM Card. I always wanted to practice in a small town. I like to know the people I'm taking care of. It's important for me to be involved with the community. That's the way I want to live. I got a GM MasterCard because I wanted to do something special for my daughter's birthday. It was easy. I transferred my other credit card balances to my GM card and earned 5%. It was a thrill to give her the Beretta. It's a big part of her life. 
I don't think Christy will ever forget her 16th birthday. The GM Card, with no annual fee. To apply, call 1-800-8-GM-CARD. Hey, down in Napoleonville, Louisiana, this is what makes Ace the place. Service. And you get it. Right now, Ace 7-star interior satin latex, only $11.99 per gallon. And Ace polyfilm 10 by 25 foot roll, just $2.44. Hey, Ace is America's place for helpful service. This is hydroplaning in less than an inch of water, and they're being pulled by Goodyear all-season AquaTread radials. AquaTread's deep groove design channels water away as you drive for outstanding traction. Hydroplaning, AquaTreading. Think about it. He was New York's most powerful judge. Then passion for a woman turned to bizarre obsession. Now he's going to prison. My exclusive interview, 2020, Friday. In a world filled with uncertainty, one thing's for sure, during Final Clearance 93, you will save money at Miracle Ford in Gallatin. Take a look at this 93 Thunderbird. Can you believe it's just $275 a month? Or how about this Ranger XLT? It's only $179 a month. And remember, when we make a deal, we'll pay off your trade no matter how much you owe. Miracle Ford in Gallatin, just a few minutes from everywhere. Miracle, Miracle Ford, savings you can believe in. Phillips has built homes in the Nashville area for over 40 years. Quality homes like the Classic Series, designed with an array of custom features. The Classic Series homes are priced from the 160s. Quality, tradition, and value have made Phillips Nashville's number one home builder. Phillips Builders Homes feature energy-efficient natural gas. For more information, contact your local realtor. You're still hustling? Yeah, off and on. Still doing drugs? Off and on, yeah. Still going to jail? Yeah. Yeah. Just, a few, just a few days ago, right? Yeah, a couple of weeks ago. Tiny calls us several times a month, usually. Um, every time I come out to Seattle, I see her. Tiny is still a street person. I mean, usually what'll happen is she'll stay someplace for a while and then she'll have an argument and, and uh, she'll either be kicked out or she'll move out and she'll go on to another place. Luckily, she called the hotel and, and told us that we could pick her up at a motel up on Aurora. When we got there and knocked on the door at first and no one was in that room, I was really, I thought, oh, she's not here. She, she huh? got cold feet and she left, but luckily she was in the room next door and, and we found her. Tiny. Tiny. Uh, how are you? And I was really relieved and I thought everything was going to be okay, but then, then a couple hours later when she, when she really flipped out, it was, it was horrible. Uh, is this the Emerald Inn? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm trying to call out to the motel. She made a very angry phone call. She was obsessed with, with, with this man. It had to do with that track that she'd been on for the past couple of days of drinking and, and, and doing a lot of drugs and, and w with this particular man. And she didn't want to come off of it. You know what, Jill? How in the f do you think you're going to come sit up in, in, in front of my face for the past two days and then just decide to have your funky ass attitude and pop out of my life just like that, like all the rest of them? You know what? I'm not going to give up that easily. Not that you did this. And it may have been seven years or whatever, you know? But I'm not going to give up that mother easy. You came up in my life after seven years, after you, me in bed and had a baby or whatever. Oh, he just hung up on my face. I got to go down there after I take a shower. You can't go down there. I'm just about to lose it. <laughs> Why does everybody put me through it? Because I let my stupid ass put myself through it, right? Don't you think it's because you're hanging out with, with guys like this they're gonna hurt you? Does, uh, well, then that's everybody then, you know? No, then it, it's not everybody. Not everyone's like that. Well, everywhere I seem to go, it's all the same kind of people. But I mean, it's like tearing you apart. Yeah, it's it is. 
Life is tearing me apart is what it's doing. You could change that. <laughs> really? Yeah, really. Your kids are great, though, son. <laughs> and you got the best kids in the world. I love you, and you love them. Yeah, but so what? I don't want to sit there and take care of them. It hurts my kids and shit, see me like this and see marks on my body doing what I'm doing. Remember when we met you, you had so many hopes and things that you wanted? Yeah, and I haven't, still haven't got nothing, Mary Ellen. But you have to make I haven't got happen. shit. But you've got to make these things happen yourself. What else am I going to do? I have to start by getting a job and... What's wrong with getting a job? Years down the road before I can really just have what I want. What do you want? What I want, a total better life than this, but I don't think that's ever gonna f***ing happen, actually. It, it can happen if you... It ain't never gonna take my scars away. Your scars will go away. This shit I've going through with everybody. Your scars will go away. Get my alcohol and drugs. That can go away, too. You can make that go away. <laughs> it can, you can make that go away. Yeah, for how long? Forever. I think I've done it before. I did it last week. Yeah, well, you're only 24 years old. You just turned 24. You're just a kid. That's a baby. Do you know how young that is? That's so young, Tiny. It's so old on the inside, right? No. Yeah. It you could really old. change your life. You could change your life. They're gonna have the same kind of can go through the same shit as no, I went won't. through with my mother. Well, you can make them. They're going through the same shit. It's tough to watch, isn't it? Yeah. And when I call my kids names, I don't mean it. I was just upset. It's the kind of stuff my mom kind of did too. Call me names and stuff. It's like the same trap. Is that tiny? Is she telling the truth? I mean, is you were drunk then? Yeah, I was up for three days. You were very upset. Yeah. The guy who left you, who was that? My son's father. That's who I was arguing with over the phone. He's, I mean, he, he gets on my nerves sometimes. It's like, um, it's really hard for me to accept. And that's why I just get so angry. It's like, um, I've always liked it him a lot, you know. And, um, it's like, comes in and out, in and out. And that was someone that I really wanted to be with. But it has never happened. Getting away for the weekend? Why not get a Ford Citibank card first? Then 5% of the tickets, 5% of the food, 5% of every purchase you make goes towards a new Ford or Lincoln or Mercury. The best-selling cars and light trucks in America. Now what other card in your wallet is worth that much? Next time you get away, get something back with the Ford Citibank card. Now this is a better idea. The night wraps its naked arms around the earth. Mothers whisper to their children, hush a line. Crickets chirp for quiet in the wood, as if the quiet will do them good. This is the night of a million dreams, as planets spin around our heads. What better place to be in a night like this, safely tucked into our beds? Serta, we make the world's best mattress. Next time, Jack Hanna and company from the Columbus Zoo. Then coming soon to a television near you, the top home videos of the month. Plus Sarah Jessica Parker on Good Morning America.
Priority One at Beam and Lincoln Mercury is taking care of customers. To this end, we offer many services some car dealers do not, such as the Beam and Care Van. If you ever need road assistance of any kind, the Care Van is just a phone call away. Incomparable service is why Beeman is the only Lincoln Mercury dealer in Tennessee to have won the prestigious Lincoln Mercury Chairman's Award for Excellence three times and counting. Beeman Lincoln Mercury, 2300 Franklin Road, Nashville. I love working for the ballpark. In the two years that I've worked here, I've probably served 38,000 helmets of ice cream. Cookies and cream is the largest selling ice cream in the park. I mean, we have adults that eat just as much ice cream as children do. I'm a yogurt person. I love the strawberry yogurt. Everything Purity's got, I enjoy because um, I grew up with it. Here at Harpeth, Ford Mercury, as one of America's leading new car and truck dealers, we take in a huge number of trade-ins. So it's easy to find exactly the used car or truck you want. Choose from Tauruses, Sables, Tempos, Crown Victorias, Pickups, 4x4s, over 200 domestic and imported cars and trucks in every price range. And speaking of trucks, we're the number one used truck dealer in Middle Tennessee. So no matter where you live, Tennessee or Kentucky, it's worth your trip to use car and truck savings at Harpeth Ford Mercury here in Franklin. The idea of a 13-year-old girl ending up on the street and hustling and eventually doing drugs and, and all of that, I mean, is just beyond the ability of many people to understand. Explain how that happened. How did a 13-year-old girl end up on the street hustling? Well, seeing all the money that was being made and, and put in my face, and I was scared to do it, and then I just kind of got a little bit of courage, but when I first did the first guy, I was, you know, I didn't know how to react to it, and I was scared. And uh, he paid me, and it's like, well, let's try it again for another one so I can get some more money. And it ended up to be pretty good money. When you were talking in that, in that first piece that we were looking at, when you were talking about the dates you did with older men. Um, how much older? 30 years old? 40 years old? Oh, very, yeah. Sometimes they'd be in their 20s, 30s. It's anywhere from 20 to 70. To 70? 70 years old, yeah. So there were 70 year old men who were coming and, and picking up a 13 year old, 14 year old girl. Yeah. Do they seem ashamed of what they're doing? Mm-mm, not at all. They would pick me up and we'd discuss everything and then take me to his apartment or his house or to a hotel or somewhere. It wouldn't be very long at all, actually, and then just take me back, that was it. And uh, they didn't have no shame in it. I couldn't stand it, really. But you did it. Yeah. Why? Money. Why'd you need the money so bad? Because I was out there and I was shooting dope back then. And I needed money for um, drugs or clothes, a place to stay, something to eat. Where do you think you're going to be 10 years from now, honestly? Hopefully. Not hopefully. Where do you think you're going to be? Uh, I can't predict what's going to happen in the future, but what I want to happen is having a good job and being successful in life and having um, my kids, nice place. The yachts, the diamonds, you still no, think about that? Was, that? <laughs> no, I, mean, I was so young then, I wanted everything because I didn't have it. And now it's like, if I had it, I'm the type of person that wants something when I can't have it. This is the type of person I am. And then when I get it, it's like, it's really no different. Do you kind of know what I mean? Mm hmm Most people are like that. Yeah. Yeah. And back then, it was just a lot of dreams that I had that I thought I wanted, but I don't want it really like that. I still want to live, like, in the country and stuff and have horses.
we are on the forefront of attempting to develop entrepreneurship as a, as a way of life here. MCI understands that this is a two-way street. The businesses in the community band together through the chamber. We prove positive, save money. You always get MCI's best price. MCI always does what's right for you. It's helped us grow small businesses into large businesses. It's not just one business out there, it's the whole community trying to make Sioux City a better place to live. This symbol outside says inside you'll find a lasting commitment to performance. The Intel 486DX2 processor, power for today's hottest software, and the Intel Pentium processor for the next generation of compatible power. That's Intel, the computer inside. A new chapter has begun in Merrill Lynch's history in Asia. We are the first American securities firm invited to open an office in mainland China. Being there gives our financial consultants a different perspective, which makes a difference for our clients. The difference is Merrill Lynch. This has always been a very comfortable place to be. Just ask the owners who ranked Ford Crown Victoria among the top 10 models in J.D. Power & Associates' initial quality study. Now, with a special price reduction of over $3,300, Crown Victoria is more affordable than ever. Which should make Crown Victoria more comfortable than ever. Sunday, the nominees are... The right woman doesn't come along, you're on the top of a very short list. What did you want me to say? The kids are gone, I'm home alone, come and take me, big daddy. Well, that I understand. <laughs> oh, I'm delightful, aren't I? Yeah. I don't have time to eat or shower. Dear Lord, I think she's going to expose herself. <laughs> I'm dating a virgin, I'm in this contest, something's got to give. Find out which show wins, live with host Angela Lansbury. The 45th Annual Emmy Awards, Sunday on ABC. A woman trying to hold her own life together, battling demons from her past, and afraid of the future. How does a person like this survive? Here's a look at some of tomorrow night's Nightline. Part two of Streetwise in Seattle. I was just doing like um, little quarters of crystal and a bag of heroin, coke. She's the mother she can be. I mean, she. She is, she's incapable of holding her own life together. Aaron's mother is an alcoholic. She, she always liked to drink and she liked to run around. She liked a good time. She liked the men. She'd be in the bars and Aaron would be down walking the streets looking for her mother. I'd get so mad I would hurt myself like my arms. I'd end up cutting myself. She's a survivor and up until now she's managed to survive but that could change any moment. That's tomorrow on Nightline. That's our report for tonight. I'm Ted Koppel in Washington. For all of us here at ABC News, good night. If you wish a video cassette version of Nightline, the cost is $14.98 plus $3.95 shipping and handling. If you wish a printed transcript, please send $5 to 1535 Grant Street, Denver, Colorado, 80203. Nightline is a presentation of ABC News. More Americans get their news from ABC News than from any other source. September 17th, 1993. Once a lost child. I was doing everything. I was just doing like um, little quarters of crystal and a bag of heroin, coke, crank, MDA. Now an adult struggling to survive. We'd drink, we'd bite, 
argue. I'd get so mad, I would hurt myself, like my arms. I mean, she's a survivor, and up until now, she's managed to survive, but that could change any moment. I've had enough out there, actually. Enough of being out on the street. It's just getting old. But a part of me still wants to be out there, because that's all I've been doing all my life, it seems like. Tonight, streetwise in Seattle, Tiny grows up. This is ABC News Nightline. Reporting from Washington, Ted Koppel. Tiny enjoys the attention. Even when she was watching some of the scenes of herself that made her wince, she didn't argue about them. What Tiny is today at age 24 is a hooker and a drug addict whose chances of making 30 are not all that terrific. But even today, you can see what a magnetic personality she has and why the camera loves her even while it's peeling away layers and revealing things that a person shouldn't have to show in public. Watching Tiny's evolution from streetwise kid to a painfully old 24 is a story of what might have been if only. If only there'd been a father as well as a mother to care for her. If only her mother had been plagued by fewer problems of her own. If only we considered it to be the crime that it is to let children grow up in those kinds of circumstances. You measure a culture, a society, by how it treats its most vulnerable citizens, the very old, the very sick, the retarded, but above all, the children. With each passing year that we ignore what happens to our children, we make it more difficult to repair the damage. That's why we're so grateful to Tiny for letting us show you her story. This started out for us being a project about a feature movie, American Heart, many of whose characters are based on the street children of Seattle. Martin Bell is the director of that movie, and he, better than anyone, understands why our attention soon shifted from the film to Tiny. For those of you who didn't see our program last night, here are a few of the scenes you missed. When you're making a documentary, what you're looking for are people who, in some way, are like stars, like movie stars. And Tiny was exactly that. She was a movie star. My real dad, I've never known. He could be a guy that's really rich, driving a Mercedes, you know? Or he could be one of these bums on the streets. I don't know. I would, I really want to meet him. For all I knew, you know, he could be one of these dates rolling around. I could have dated him for all I know. I've had chlamydia, trichomonas, and gonorrhea. It's quite a bit. I think it is very strange that older men like little girls because they're perverts is what they is. I mean, I like the money, but I don't like them. Have you had sex with anyone? since you were treated in Portland? No, just dates. And the first date I turned was just that two Thursdays ago, and then I turned another one on a Friday. Isn't it after every two weeks you can get pregnant, after your period every two weeks? You can get pregnant any time mm. during your cycle. A person can even get pregnant when she's having her period. It's not as likely. Okay, because I pulled the date and didn't use a rubber. Because mm -hmm. he said he didn't use them, so. Here's my baby. Oops. Oh. One minute. It's okay, little one. Yeah. Now, when I don't hear from you for a long time, I worry about you. Have you ever thought to do your drinking while I don't call? Come no. around? No. I can't stand alcohol. I don't know. I could just stand drugs. Mom, I'm through with drugs. We're talking about you. Maybe you're on about doing your own thing. Mom, it is not. It's because you of your alcohol. I'm way out too far for you to come over. I would anyway. come over and see you if you quit drinking. You don't drinking. like coming over because of that dog. I'm you not working with you. you. If you're going to just... No, because you can't face reality. That's well, the neither can you, damn it. Oh, yes, I can. Bullshit. Oh, yes, I can. Why don't you just go home? I'm going. Yeah. You made me like this. Oh, baloney. You made yourself this way. Maybe I'd have a real mother. She'd yeah, believe maybe what if she I had does. Some kind and of a drinking. I didn't hit the street. Bitch. Where is he at? What is 
is wrong with you? You know what, Joe? How the f do you think you're gonna come sit up and in, in, in front of my face for the past two days and then just decide to have your funky ass attitude and pop out of my life just like that? You came up in my life after seven years after you fucked me in bed and had a baby or whatever. Oh, you just hung up on my face and just about to lose it. They're gonna have the same kind of go through the same shit as no, I went won't. through with my mother. Well, you can make some. They're going through the same shit. That strange combination of naivete and street smarts, and always so deeply weary. Tiny struggle for a moment of normal life, a life free from pain, continues now in part two of Streetwise in Seattle when we come back. This is ABC News Nightline, brought to you by MCI. We are in the forefront of attempting to develop entrepreneurship as a, as a way of life here. MCI understands that this is a two-way street. The businesses in the community band together through the chamber. With proof positive, save money. You always get MCI's best price. MCI always does what's right for you. It's helped us grow small businesses into large businesses. It's not just one business out there, it's the whole community trying to make Sioux City a better place to live. It's morning in Detroit, and four designers are working on a concept car. In Brazil, a class of engineers studies a new engine. In England, a Ford-powered car drives to victory. In Australia, a Ford returns from an endurance run. And back in America, the Lincoln Mark 8 gains yet another admirer. This is Ford, a world of 325,000 people in 30 countries where the pursuit of quality never stops. Sunday on This Week with David Brinkley, tourists are murdered in Florida, attracting worldwide attention. And once again, teenage violence shocks America. How do we stop it? Sunday. In a world filled with uncertainty, one thing's for sure, during Final Clearance 93, you will save money at Miracle Ford in Gallatin. Take a look at this 93 Thunderbird. Can you believe it's just $275 a month? Or how about this Ranger XLT? It's only $179 a month. And remember, when we make a deal, we'll pay off your trade no matter how much you owe. Miracle Ford and Gallatin, just a few minutes from everywhere. Miracle, Miracle Ford, savings you can believe in. Phillips has built homes in the Nashville area for over 40 years. Quality homes like the Signature Series, designed for the luxury buyer who treasures space and exclusivity. Quality, tradition, and value have made Phillips Nashville's number one home builder. Phillips Builders features quality products such as Robbins pre-finished flooring and Delta faucets. For more information, contact your local realtor. She said, if I only knew um, what town my child was in. I was doing everything. I was just doing like um, little quarters of crystal and a bag of heroin, coke, crank, MDA, Ritalin. I just got tired of shooting up dope and uh, ended up pregnant. How many times a day do you water them, Galen? 
Tony has three children. Daylon, I, I saw Daylon born. I photographed his birth. Then she has LaShondra, who uh, looks exactly like Tiny. She really does. Ice cream, man! And then she has uh, Kiana Rose, who doesn't really look that much like Tiny, but acts exactly like her. Kiana! She's the mother she can be. I mean, she, she is a, she's incapable of holding her own life together. And uh, she's fortunate that she's got Katie, her aunt, to look after the children. But when she's with the children, she loves them. I mean, she, she loves to be with them, and the children love her. I can't ever open it. You all can open it. I've always wanted children of my own, and I've never had any. And I've always prayed for children. But I never thought it would come about this way. Oh. Robin Hood. Robin. <laughs> I started taking care of them about three years ago. They were put in a foster home, and uh, they didn't have any place to go, and they were going to be split up and separated. So I was well enough to take care of them, so I took them. I thought I want to be a werewolf. A werewolf? <laughs> they miss their mother, I know. They, they, they mentioned they would like to go live with their mother. I just tell them, you're, she has drug and alcohol problems. She's got to get her life squared away. And that's why you're living with me now. When Aaron comes and visits afterwards, they're, they're a little hard to, you know, hard to, to manage. They, I think it bothers them in that respect, seeing her come and go. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow then. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Katie, thanks a lot. Okay. Hey. Okay. Hey. Okay. Aaron's mother is an alcoholic. She, she always liked to drink and she liked to run around. She liked a good time. She liked the men. Patty did. She'd be in the bars and Aaron'd be down walking the streets looking for her mother until she ended up on the streets. She'd go to the bar. She'd come home with a man, sometimes a different man every other night, maybe every night. And she'd end up with money in her pocket, maybe not what a normal street hooker would get, but I think my mom has done some things like that in the past. She come home one night real intoxicated, blew her top, and she slapped me, and I just, it just stung me, and I slapped her back, and she went to hit for me, and I spit in her face, is what I did, I spit in her face first, and then she spit back in mine. Ah, oh, she was a little hellion. <laughs> She was a pretty active child. Still is. <laughs> At first when I drink and get high, I'm a happy person. Then I turn into a very unhappy person after. after. There are times when we, we expect the phone to ring and, and she won't be there. She could do something which, uh, you know, would end her life. And, uh, That's tough. I got caught up in a couple of things that were was not a pleasant sight. And uh, I was I was being controlled. He was he was like a big husky guy. He was like 250 pounds, not very tall, and just real mean looking and everything. And I guess it fitted him. We'd drink, we'd fight, argue. I'd get so mad, I would hurt myself, like my arms. I'd end up cutting myself, my neck, trying to get back at him. I have scars on my body now that is there for life because I was dealing with him. She's a survivor, and up until now, she's managed to survive, but that could change any moment. I definitely want Tiny to get off her drugs and so forth before she ruins her life. She's so used to being free, having been on the streets, since she was a child. She's like a caged bird. She wants to fly wherever she wants to fly, whenever she wants to go. I've had enough out there, actually. Enough of being out on the street. It's just getting old. But a part of me still wants to be out there, because that's all I've been doing all my life, it seems like. Said if you see my child somewhere As you journey here and there
Tiny should represent for all of us the forgotten children, the children that are abused and neglected, and nobody hears their cry for help. You come home. Tiny represents a huge number of people, I don't know how many people, that were actually born into the wrong bed. I wish I could feel more optimistic. But I, I don't know what'll happen to her. It would be great. She's such a she's such a vital person. It would be so great if she had a chance. I mean, isn't she some somebody special? I mean, don't you want her to survive? She said if I only knew um, what town my child was in. Um, she said I would be there. Um, Makes me almost want to cry. Mm -hmm. So it makes me almost want to cry. I bet it makes a lot of people want to cry. It's a sad story so far. You're going to have a happy ending? I think so. This is a Goodyear Aquatread, and this is a gallon of water. Aquatread's deep groove design channels water away. At highway speeds, it moves a gallon of water every second for outstanding wet traction. Aquatread, only from Goodyear. I'm on my way to Atlanta, Georgia, to see what makes Ace the place. It's got to be the values, John. Like Ace all-purpose duct tape, 60-yard roll, only $277, and Ace 50-year 100% silicone sealant, $1.99 each. Hey, Ace is America's place for better value. Getting away for the weekend? Why not get a Ford Citibank card first? Then 5% of the tickets, 5% of the food, 5% of every purchase you make goes towards a new Ford or Lincoln or Mercury. The best-selling cars and light trucks in America. Now what other card in your wallet is worth that much? Next time you get away, get something back with the Ford Citibank card. Now this is a better idea. Monday, it came from Africa. Now it's in America, an ancient ritual that scars women for life. Now they speak out and fight back. Day one, Monday. Hey, Bill, got a minute? Sure, what's up? It's about my daughter. She starts college next week. Everything okay financially? It's all set up, but what if something happens? You know, when we started this business, I was a little worried myself. Then my auto owner's agent came up with the answer. 10-year level term insurance. It gave me peace of mind without putting a financial burden on my family. See Roger Smith Insurance, Goodlesville, Ritter Insurance, Nashville, or Collins and Miller Insurance, Lewisburg. And so on down the rolling Cumberland River on the Bell Carroll Riverboat Party Cruise every Friday and Saturday night. Discover a unique nightclub alternative. Get together with friends to party. Enjoy stunning city views, romance, and fun, fun, fun. There's a boot scootin' boogie on the open air deck and a rockin' and rollin' on the first deck. A whole lot of fun for everyone. Favorite beverage available, you must be 21 years of age. This week only half price ticket, 548 plus tax with advanced purchase. Call 244-3430 or 1-800-342-2355. A very few thoughtful and discriminating people in our fair city have chosen the luxury, great ride, and considerable creature comforts of the Lincoln Mark 8, the Lincoln Continental, and the paragon of luxury, the Lincoln Town Car from Beam and Lincoln Mercury. Some say what you drive won't really change your life. Balderdash, you only have one life to live. Why not live it in a Lincoln? From Beam and Lincoln Mercury, 2300 Franklin Road. Tiny's story is the story of many, most of the homeless children that we see running away, many of the children that join gangs to find nurturing. She had no home, so she ran to find some kind of connection and make some kind of life for herself. Tiny is a, is a very needy person. What Tiny needs is love. I mean, she needs somebody to love her and to hold her and, and to build a life with her. She needs a huge amount of support somebody to really be patient with her and to help build a life. 
Tanya's a wonderful person. I, I, I want people that's, that see this, this to fall in love with her, to really care about her. And it would be great if, 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 if somehow she could break that cycle and, and, and make a really good life for herself. It would be great. A lot of people in there telling us who and what they think you represent. What do you think you represent? You know, I really can't answer that. I don't know, actually. I mean, it's all real life and stuff that I've done and been through, still going through. And I hope it helps a lot of people. I'm not sure that people, even after seeing this, this film, uh, that people realize just how tough it can be on the streets. Now, someone you knew real well, another prostitute, mm -hmm. right, got killed very recently. Yeah. Want to tell me about it? She, her, her thing was, she get into a, a, a trick's car and would end up stealing money from him. She was thieving. You uh, know, she always, she always stuck up for herself too. It was like, she never would back down. And uh, or she would get away real quick. But she didn't get too far this time. And uh, he caught her stealing money out of his envelope. I guess he had some money in. Who's he? Uh, that postal clerk, I don't know his name, but um, he uh, ended up catching her. He went into the shower after he paid her some money and uh, came out and caught her. And she tried to get away, and she didn't make it. And that kind of just like flipped, flipped me out really bad. It's like for three days, I just cried and cried and cried. She was. She's kind of like an older sister to me, even though we had our differences a lot of time. Every time we went to jail, though, she'd sit down and talk to me. We'd have a good time, you know? Because she wasn't out there doing what she had to do to, to get her drugs or anything. Because when she was out there, she didn't have time for anybody at all. So it was, it was real sad. Your friends. <clears throat> that we've heard from here. And they really do seem to be good friends to you. They care about you, they keep coming back, they keep worrying about you, wondering what's happened to you. Yeah. There's a little note of little note of fear in what they say, because they're never quite sure they're gonna find you the next time they come out to Seattle. Yeah. I'm glad I have those people around though. I'm glad they're still there. They've never given up on me. So it makes me really happy. Because there's not many people out there that is, you know, good people like that. And a lot of people get fed up with, with um, people like me and don't want to don't be there no more. Because they're just fed up with what they do. And I'm really happy that all the people that I have, good people, is still there. They're willing to help me any kind of way if they can. But finally, there's only one person who can really help you, right? Yep, myself. It's me, I gotta... I'm the only one that can, um... stop my addiction and... just get on my feet and get a job and all the good stuff you're supposed to do. Is it too late for Tiny? No, I'm still young. Still young. I feel old sometimes, though. Today in the public schools, Katie Dorme wrote her last name without any help. Jessica Enya spun through the air with the greatest of ease. 
And Andrew Lopez discovered how to make an airplane soar with the wind. For every child with dreams, for all parents with a dream for their children, the public schools are where small miracles happen every day. I want to tell you about my home far away. My mother and father are there. Strengthening the links of communications requires capital. In the last three years, Merrill Lynch raised over $50 billion for communications companies around the globe. We connect investors to opportunities and the people of the world to each other. For them, it makes a difference. The difference is Merrill Lynch. Last year, Ford Motor Company had five of the 10 best-selling new cars and trucks in America. And to help keep your car running like new, we designed Quality Care Preventive Maintenance. It's a level of care you won't find anywhere but at your Ford or Lincoln Mercury dealer. Everything from changing your oil and filter to brake jobs and shocks. Quick, expert, and competitively priced. Quality Care, where the quality continues. Grace on men. I don't want some guy that thinks PBS is what women get every month. Grace on kids. You're not sitting up here making plans to be dysfunctional, are you? Grace on double dates. Maybe one of us should leave. Good idea. Grace on being home alone. I'm going to slip into a hot bath, slip into a nightgown, slip into a coma. Grace on age. Pushing 30? Pushing 30? Honey, I'm pulling it on a trailer hitch. Grace under fire, Wednesday, September 29th. Here at Harpeth Ford Mercury, it's 93 model closeout time as we shatter prices on all 93s in stock. It's a time of year you bargain hunters have waited for. Every factory rebate, every incentive, every special package, every year in discount that's being offered is being applied to your 93 closeout purchase. All this, plus our goal of prices at least $300 less than the competition for the same exact model, makes your best car truck buy of the year right now, right here at Harpeth Ford Mercury. So before you buy theirs, price ours. That's all we ask. Harpeth Ford Mercury in Franklin. And that's our report for tonight. I'm Ted Koppel in Washington. For all of us here at ABC News, good night. Lord, you know this child is mine. Just tell him I'm waiting for my child to come home, to come home. Say, Lord, my child. Maybe somewhere bum, bum, in some lonely jail and there ain't no one there to go to go is bill to go is bill she said if I only knew for town my child was in, she said I would be there on that early morning train. There's no matter what the crime, Lord, you know this child is mine. Just tell him I'm waiting for my child to come home, to come home. Nightline is a presentation of ABC News. More Americans get their news from ABC News than from any other source.